Marcus has an interesting story. So he uh, grew up in Atlanta, went to Emory University. He graduated and just wanted to detach from society. So he hitchhiked all the way across the country, found himself in the middle of Alaska, and he was, this was his home. He was just like, I'm, I'm away from people. This is amazing. And he actually found this bus in the middle of nowhere. Um, and he, began, he lived there in this abandoned bus. And he was all alone. And he loved it because he was living off the land, and he just thought this is, this is it for him. He just, and you can see clearly he was smiling and having a... He just felt like home for him. Uh, and then it was a, after several months of living there, he ingested something that made him extremely ill. And it, he became very weak, and he knew he needed to get some help. So he began to retrace his steps, and he came to the river that he initially had crossed. And at this time in the season, it was really high, and it was flowing really fast. And he was too weak to actually cross the river. So dejected, he went back to the bus, and he actually put it on SOS to, as a last-ditch effort to get some help. No one came, and he knew that, that these were the final moments on earth. And he actually uh, found his way into the back of the bus, and he knew this, this was it for him. So he turned to his journal. So there he is in the back of this bus. He's looking out across this pristine Alaskan landscape. You can see the, the bus there in the bottom middle there. So there he is. He's looking out in this incredible landscape, and he's all alone. And he thought he had everything that he wanted right there. But these are the final words that he penned in his journal. Happiness is only real when shared. To him, all of it was meaningless because there was no one else to actually share it with. So in conclusion, my friends, no matter where you are, how introverted or extroverted you are, at the end of the day, we pine for people. And at times, especially as leaders, you're going to want to retreat to that bus, right? Because people be crazy at times, right? And that's okay, we didn't talk about it, but solitude can actually be helpful, and especially for leaders, solitude's really important. Just don't stay there too long, because your team needs you, and you need your team. So at the end of the day, we are stronger together, we're healthier together, and ultimately together, it's you and I, that's where we belong. <laughs>